This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the stock market had a great week. Dow Jones Industrial Average rose, the S&P 500 gained 2%, and the Nasdaq climbed 4.6%. The Nasdaq even managed to string together five consecutive updates, its longest winning streak since November of 2021. Now, investors entered the week hoping for some signs that the recovery in the economy is slowing, enough to keep the Federal Reserve from aggressively raising interest rates further. But the ISM non-manufacturing index came in stronger than expected, as did durable good orders and the JOLTS job opening report. The June payrolls data, the highlight of the economic reports, looked particularly strong. The economy added 372,000 jobs last month, nearly 100,000 more than economists had predicted. The strong jobs report is expected to keep the Federal Reserve on track to raise interest rates by another 75 basis points at this July meeting that's coming up. In fact, the only thing that does seem certain right now is that the Fed will continue to raise rates and earnings estimates will continue to decelerate. However, there are still reasons for optimism. Among them, Treasury inflation protected securities are starting to price in lower inflation, with 10-year tips reflecting just 2.33% inflation, down from nearly 3%, this past April. There are more and more signs that the supply chain pressures are easing. Similarly, commodity prices have fallen and the dollar has risen, all signal that the Fed might not be as far behind the curve as some investors think. The slide in all manner of raw material prices, corn, wheat, copper, and more, is stirring hopes that a significant source of inflationary pressure might be starting to ease. Some economists think the U.S. is already in recession. Others believe it is likely to slip into one in the next year. An earlier than expected recession would bring about relief from inflation pressures by restoring greater balance between demand and supply in the economy. And by doing so, it would lessen the need for aggressive central bank tightening, thereby making the downturn shorter and shallower than would otherwise be the case. Now, while timing short-term market ups and downs is a fool's errand, misjudging the cycle altogether is a lost opportunity. The biggest mistake an investor can make is to wait for clarity and to wait to invest until things settle down. While markets don't settle down, they settle up. Every correction and bear market in history ultimately ends with the market at new all-time record highs. The S&P 500 started this year at a new fresh all-time record high at 4,800. If the market were to regain that level by year's end, that would generate a 28% return from today. Even if it takes two years to get back to the highs, the annualized return for your portfolio is 14%. And let's say it takes three years to return to this year's high. The return for you is 10% per year. Wow. The market has never failed to recover and exceed the previous highs. But of course, this time could be different. For example, the world could end. But as you know, at Paying Capital Management, our favorite Bobism is the world doesn't end very often. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience in building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is pick up the phone and give us a call at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.